Very good morning, it's Penny Wild, the Black Pen. Found a very interesting ruling yesterday in the courts and I wanted to read it with you guys, share it with you so that you can be educated and share it with other people as well. This article is from businesstech.co.za written on the 13th of May, 2022 from ground up. The heading is the landmark ruling on Divorce Act for South Africa. The Gauteng High Court has declared unconstitutional a section of the Divorce Act, which the judge said was unfair, especially to women. The section barred those married out of community of property and without the accrual system from benefiting on divorce from what they might have contributed to the marriage. Before 1984, South Africa had only two marriage regimes in community of property, which meant the couple shared all assets and debts, and out of community of property, which meant the couple's assets and debts were separated. But with the enactment of the Matrimonial Property Act, the MPA, the concept of accrual sharing or asset sharing was introduced. A section was introduced to the Divorce Act to give judges discretion in the distribution of assets in marriages out of community of property, which had been concluded before the enactment of the MPA when the accrual regime did not exist. But the Divorce Act does not allow a court to make any order regarding redistribution of assets for couples married out of community of property without accrual after 1984. This left many people, mainly women, financially barren, even though they had contributed to the household and assisted their spouses to accumulate assets over the years. Judge Almarie van der Skeif has now deemed Section 73A unconstitutional, striking it from the Divorce Act and referring the matter to the Constitutional Court for confirmation. The case before her was brought by the estranged wife of a wealthy farmer who was married to her husband out of community of property, excluding accrual in March 1988. She said if she was not successful in her application to the court to strike out the section of the Divorce Act, neither she nor our other spouses in a similar situation would be entitled to redistribution orders irrespective of their particular circumstances and no matter how stark the injustices they face. This, she said, was because as the law currently stood, the court had no power to exercise discretion. This was arbitrary and irrational and discriminated against people married after November 1984. Judge, Judge van der Skeef said she had not been called upon to determine whether or not the applicant was entitled to any assets in her particular divorce but whether the section passed constitutional muster. In argument during the hearing, it was submitted by the woman's advocate that excluding spouses from the potential benefits of just and equitable redistribution constituted unfair discrimination based on sex, gender, marital status, culture, race, and religion. As a result, it operates to trap predominantly women in harmful and toxic relationships when they lack financial means to survive outside marriage, it was submitted. While the Lord did offer people a choice, it was often not a meaningful one in light of the context of gender inequality. An expert report submitted to the court said that many women were still unable to access and realize their rights, and the decision to get married is therefore one that many women make with less autonomy than men, and with less agency to insist on terms that would be advantageous to them. The Minister of Justice and Constitutional Development initially opposed the application, but later indicated he would abide by the court's decision. He said the issue was already under consideration by the South African Law Research Commission for possible legislative amendment. The minister said public comment had already been received on the issue. Those opposed to the removal of the 1984 time bar had argued that this would not respect the freedom to contract, that a marital property system excluding sharing was chosen deliberately, deliberately for well-considered reasons and that an extension of judicial discretion would encourage litigation and increase costs. Those in favor said that women should not be allowed to contract themselves and their children into poverty and that they seldom made informed choices in these matters because of power imbalances. Judge van der Skeef said the main disadvantage of a marriage out of community of property without the accrual system, a system of complete separation 
is that no matter how long the marriage has endured and how much the economically disadvantaged party had contributed to the other's economic and financial success, that party does not, as, does not as a right share in the other's gains. Women were still predominantly in the position of the economically disadvantaged party. She said the inclusion of the time bar in the section of the act was not at the time irrational, but the inequity it had caused had remained. Responding to some of the submissions, she said it is, in my view, not necessary to determine whether the cutoff date affects black women to a greater extent than other women, or whether it is indeed an illusion to accept that women in general have a choice to agree to the inclusion or exclusion of the accrual system. Only those who go blindfolded through life can deny that gender equality has not yet been achieved in South Africa. The equality issue brought to the fore in this application is not solely attributable to race or gender or religion, but also to economic inequity, the judge said. She said unity of marriage concealed economic disparity. It only became apparent on divorce that one spouse's estate had an increase because of the other spouse's contribution due to an unfair economic advantage. It was patently unfair, she said, that those suffering from economic disadvantage who were married out of community of property without accrual after 1984 had no resource to the court to address this injustice. She ruled that the time bar in the section was unconstitutional. This piece was written on businesstech.co.za by Tanya Broughton, or Broughton. Very interesting and it's something that you can research for yourself. I'm highlighting this because it was a high court matter where this judge, Van der Skeef, ruled. It will be passed over to the constitutional court to see if it can be confirmed that judges and courts can now decide. If you're married out of community of property without accrual, your wife, your husband that you're divorcing can hopefully, after this has been confirmed, take you to court and say, no, I would actually like a redistribution of assets. And the judge and the court can then decide to rule in your favor. Very important. And it's going to have huge ramifications for a lot of people, especially people who are married out of community of property and out of community of property without accrual. And especially people who are considering marriage as well. The other thing I just wanted to highlight very briefly is I, Penwell the Black Pen, no longer believe that marriage makes sense in 2022. And this is just a reminder of that. In a time when we have women empowerment, where we have feminism, where we're striving very hard for gender equality, it doesn't make sense to still be going under this regime and this institution, where it seems like, by and large, women are still seen as these children that need to be adopted from their families, where, especially in the African customs, a woman gets lobolat, she almost gets bought like a child, adopted from her family, and then brought into a new family where she loses her surname of where she comes from, and she adopts the surname of this family that has now adopted her. And she has to submit to her husband, so to speak. I think this is outdated and needs to be completely disbanded. What I do suggest as an alternative, if you're in love with someone, you guys can get a joint property together. You guys can set up a company and buy joint assets together. You guys can set up a trust. When it comes to your children, you guys can decide on which surname to go for. Or you can even come up with a new surname. We live in a new time now. We are all equal. This concept of patriarchy and the man being in power doesn't make sense. In the same breath, there are so many men that are using these Ngam Lobola, this is my wife, she must behave. They're using all those things to abuse and exploit women and take women's money because they say, but she's my wife, Ngam Lobola. So whatever she makes is mine as well. There are many silent women out there who are being economically, financially abused by their husbands every single day, purely because they are married. And obviously when they get divorced, the men get to have half of whatever this woman has accumulated after fighting for so long. Pen you all the black pen. I look forward to engaging with you guys further on this very, very important issue. I believe in a family unit. I do not think you need to be married to live together with your spouse and raise your kids together. Love you guys very much. Have a great weekend.